Hey guys, welcome back to the BuzzerBot, and here I am bringing you a review of a mock I made called Scuba XS, meaning extra small, with the Guppy Mini Submersible. So, this is a from a series I'm, I'm making on DeviantArt. Not going to go into too much detail, but basically, the Hero Factory is aiding a planet and its local civilization, a planet called Zodiac, but the gravity is so high there that they need to use mini heroes to so they don't drain their energy too quickly. So this is what I've done here. I made a little exploration submarine for exploring the planet's oceans. And it has little maneuvering fans back here. It has flip out, some more flip out maneuvering fans. They can have variable prop, so they can be used for maneuvering its pitch, or they can use, be used for maneuvering its yaw. Um, I, I think they might be able to use, be used differentially for maneuvering its roll, which might not be necessary underwater too much. And it also has these thrusting ones here. These ones could potentially also be used for thrusting, I suppose, if you vary the, pro, the uh, pitch enough. But a mainstay of these series of mocks is that they have gimmicks, like the old Bionicle sets. These are kind of based off of the old Bionicle sets that came with a... Matoran or Tohunga, and then came with a larger, um, larger thing like the Boxor with Nuparu. So this one in particular comes with a little punching gimmick. It's better off like this because it wouldn't it wouldn't be going straight like this. It would be kind of going like this along the ocean, just so the pilot could see down. And it has a little punching gimmick on both arms. So if you you can kind of punch away evil creatures under the sea which is cool. Very fun gimmick. And I also added some little rubber pieces here that will, so that it doesn't really hurt if you hit someone with it. Um, it actually does kind of hurt still with the rubber pad, but it hurts less than it did before. <coughs> Something interesting here is that you can open the glass, so you can see the pilot's face in there. And I'll take him out in a minute, but I'm just going to finish showing off the, uh, the mini-sub here. It has... I use some uh, Tahunuva legs here as armor, which is very cool. He has little, if I can actually just lift his arm a little bit. This is where he controls his submersible. Let me focus it in a little closer. This is where he controls his submarine with these little things here. There's his hands and the lights so he can see along the dark ocean floor. Um, what else is there? There are the fans here, of course. They all spin... I originally wanted to have the ducted pieces, but I couldn't find enough of them in white, which is what I wanted to use. I have some in yellow, but no in orange. But yellow wouldn't fit the color scheme. And that's all to the submarine. Very fun punching gimmick. It's a cool thing. Anyway, now let's take the pilot out. So let's refocus back here. So, open the glass first, then move this piece down so that it meets the floor and attach his control controls from his hand oh I hope you guys can see what's going on here but it's just kinda cramped I moved this piece to the ground up it was originally up here moved the glass up disconnected his hands from the controls now what we do is we just have to go back here and unpeg him from it or unpin him, because he's held on by pins. So that should have disconnected him. Oops. Things never work on video. Alright. So... Alright, I think I think he's attached again. Now a couple things fell off here. His little bar here, which is just for detail, came off. And also his part of his harpoon gun, which is his weapon. Let's just focus in on it. There's his harpoon gun, made out of a couple of minifigure accessories. Very cool looking. It just pegs onto his little control thing here onto those 
Tahunuva arms. There's a little mini pin there, er, area there. So that's where it pegs on. And here is the driver, Scuba XS. Scuba Extra Small. He is the vapor mask. Um, I found a way to, on my little mini hero design here, to integrate either old Bionicle heads, the original ones, or Glatorian heads. They originally just using old Bionicle heads in my earliest ones, which I will hopefully review at some point. But later on I found out how to attach a Glatorian head just because I wanted to use some of the Glatorian masks. So here he is with his little harpoon gun. Very cute hero. He's supposed to have all these tubing here because it's like a scuba, kind of a scuba mask, like air system. And he has his little air mask there with goggles. So, very cool. The articulation on these guys is pretty pretty simple. It's comparable to Lego Jang's mini heroes, but these ones are a lot more custom. On these ones, they have leg ball joints at the hips. They have kind of a knee, but it doesn't go very far at least on this particular knee design. I've used a different knee design on my first one. And usually they have uh, shoulder articulation, but it's a little offset towards the back. And on this one, it's kind of hindered by his breathing tubes. And then they have elbow articulation, bicep swivel, and wrist movement. So it's pretty good. Lego Jang's, I think, didn't have knees, but it had ankles. And might have had some kind of head articulation too. These guys with the Glatorian heads don't really have much articulation just because it's in a cramped spot. They're connected on a ball joint, but there's too much around the ball joint for it to really move. So I think these guys actually have one one less point of articulation than the Lego Jang Mini Heroes just because their heads don't really move. So there is Scuba XS and the Guppy Mini Submersible. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of mine of a mock. See you guys later.